Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the CPI Thursday day today. Uh, missed yesterday, obviously, uh, as a crypto owner, it was a fairly hectic day for me. Uh, the FTX news um, came out while I was on an airplane, so that was a bit tricky. Um, I obviously own a fair bit of Solana, so I've been trading that uh, sort of wildly. Let me just pull up the Solana chart for those of you who are in the crypto world. Um, looks pretty bad, obviously, and a lot of Solana is going to be unlocked or is <coughs> being unlocked that have been previously staked that will probably come to market, but uh, this is what we've been doing. We we squared all the longs through 20, um, which was just a stop loss. It wasn't any sort of magical number. Uh, and then yesterday we played from, we actually played from the short side pretty successfully between 1850 and, and 20. And then um, <coughs> mainly on a prayer, we just started to try and when things looked their bleakest, we just bought some, luckily, um, around 12 bucks and now we're just sort of playing to 12 20 range and it looks um, there was some luck to that there's no doubt about it you know it was, you're fairly frustrated with the news uh, one of the pillars of the community Sam Bankman Freed turns out to be a douchebag um, you know loses 15 billion dollars in 36 hours uh, basically is just a gambling degenerate no risk <clears throat> management at all um, so much for the MIT um, math driven background um, blow me Sam um, or actually no I'm going to take that back I was just in London uh, and a couple of the cabbies gave me the wanker sign you know that they give you, you know, like you're jerking off I'm on my little uh, Santander bike which is how I get around in London the cabs don't really like those guys or I'm doing something wrong and you see these cabbies going, wanker. It's fucking hilarious. I love London. Uh, love London cabbies. Um, so I'm giving uh, SBF the wanker sign here. No one can see it, but let's just leave that as it is. Let's see where Bitcoin's doing. We don't trade Bitcoin, but wow. Went down to 15.5. Now we're 16.8. Uh, Ethereum, which we do trade, didn't get below 1,000. I thought it was interesting. Um, you can just accumulate this down here. I think this is um, this is a careful accumulation. This is obviously news driven. Um, the guys who run Tron are maybe going to partner with FTX. God knows. Uh, but Ethereum's not going away. That said, Ethereum could easily go to 500 bucks. So tread very, very carefully. If you don't trade crypto, if you don't own crypto, if you don't understand crypto, just ignore this part of the video. Stay the fuck away from it. Uh, I'm a believer. I've been studying it for the last 18 months. I've built a bunch of structures around it for some people in the Middle East. So um, let me be me. Uh, I'll do what I need to do. Got this Matic as well. Stopped at the 200-day moving average, 78. We're above the 200-day, so we're long. We're in accumulation mode, which is fine. Um, we also sold up here at the 2.5 Sigma. So Maddox's been okay for us. It's not been a joy. I mean, we were up 45% up at 128. Um, but we're basically, our average on Maddox is basically 91 cents. So we're at 94. Could be worse. Um... So those are our two sort of horses. Solana now can't can't really be core long this shit yet until the dust settles and it's just a tradable currency and it's just wildly volatile. So there is money to be made. Okay, there's my little crypto spiel. Let's let's get back to uh, currencies, uh, which look a whole hell of a lot easier uh, to trade, frankly, um, but less fun, of course. Uh, Aussie. We saw on Friday, <coughs> post non farms, a big, big move in Aussie. Uh, this is Friday, bang. Monday stayed higher. Tuesday 
traded all the way up to 65.55. Now pre-CPI, uh, we have a little bit of a pullback. You can see U.S. rates have not really moved. We've basically been 408, 415. This is just positioning the psychological warfare of FX, right? Everyone got super long. Now a bunch of people are getting stopped out. Same way as this move up here um, from the 14th to the 26th. Equities higher. Rates have peaked. Everyone gets long. Equities lower. Rates go higher. Everyone gets short. Everyone gets long again. We do think rates have peaked. We sent out a little piece over the weekend about what $31 trillion in debt means. Um, and to just in one sentence means you have to pay $1.5 trillion in interest rate charges. Pretend you have a um, credit card, which most of you probably do. Um, and imagine your credit card debt is like, you know, 12 grand a month. Most of you can't manage that kind of debt. And if you are, you're fucking idiots anyway. Well, who the fuck would ever carry credit card debt? Um, but this is what America's doing. And at some point, it just becomes untenable, um, that interest rate debt. And that's a wild oversimplification because obviously they don't have to renew three, $31 trillion of debt uh, next year. But point being, it's just too much money. Um, for the U.S. And two things either have to happen. They have to wildly devalue their own currency, which they may do, um, which makes perfect sense to me. And they also have to try and cap um, this interest rate cost. And it may, <clears throat> it may cap itself, right? You saw Facebook was originally going to, you know, lay off a thousand and then lay off 5,000, now it's 13,000. You know, I'm not surprised if, if Facebook lays off 30,000. The non-farm numbers next month are going to be fucking awful. And maybe rates are just going to turn on psychology alone, right? People out, out there are scared. Um, so we'll have to see. Anyway, going into CPI today, it's going to be super important. Um, we also have speeches from, you know, the Fed guys. We've got Waller, Harkin, Logan, Day, Meister, George, and Williams speaking today. Bank of England, a couple of speakers, ECB, nobody cares. SNB, nobody cares. Um, it's basically CPI today. So CPI comes in hot. This Aussie's going to get, going to get whacked. Um, people are long this thing now, uh, and vice versa. So not much to do until CPI comes out, dollar CAD, same chart. Um, oil has been lower. Yeah, 85 bucks now, oil. This obviously affects CAD. Um, we're down six bucks. Cool 8%. Um, see how that goes. Cable got punched in the face yesterday. You want to sell cable rallies. Uh, you know, the obvious, not the obvious, but I don't think cable's going to like get above 120 uh, maybe for the rest of this year is, is kind of my thinking. But I do think there is room to get, to push up there, right? So there's a lot of people who are trading mid-range right now. 114, I feel like, is mid-range. And this is something you never want to do. You never want to trade mid-range. You want to trade at the top of the range or the bottom of the range. I don't care if you buy the break at the top or you sell the rally at the top. This is where the risk reward makes sense. Middle of the range, you get your ass kicked. Uh, it's like Sodom and Gomorrah. I don't know. It's like Shakedown Street. Uh, if you're a Grateful Dead fan, which I'm not. Um, anyway, I feel like uh, leave some powder to sell some cable on the stretch moves higher. Um, but it got punctured yesterday, bang, 1.3%. Um, quickly now, I've got, uh, I got a call in 12 minutes, so I got to jump out of this. Um, crosses aren't doing much, you can see this. We're, look, we're waiting, patiently waiting for uh, 170 again uh, in uh, sterling yen, that's not happening. Dollars are, uh, my, my, 
stalwart South African Rand has done pretty well, uh, which is, you know, against my own personal consensus. This is just rates lower, I guess, or people getting caught. This looks like a pretty good buy to me around 1730. Um, we'll have to see. And then gold, this is the futures. This is again, people think rates, this is a rates trade. People think rates are near their highs. So gold goes from 1630 to 1713. 1740 is a very interesting point. Should stop there. Uh, do some consolidation, but gold, wow. It's a nice uh, 80 buck move for those of you who are trading gold. All right, listen, a lot going on here, um, especially in my crypto world, so I'm going to cut it here short. Good luck out there, people. Um, make some dough today. Why not? I'll catch you tomorrow. Ciao.